Welcome to Nick's Fort, my name is Nick, and today I'm going to be talking about holding your shots when you are filming, okay? And this, this applies to almost anyone who's doing video work, filmmaking, anything like that, especially if you're new to it, or if you are a photographer and you're starting to get into video making, this is a really important lesson to learn. It takes practice. I know it's super simple sounding, like hold your shots, hold them longer. It's not that hard, but it really is. There's just something about going out, doing it, thinking about it, looking at your footage and saying, oh, I got it. I understand why I need to hold my shots longer. I understand the reasoning behind it. And I'm going to show you guys some examples of why and the difference it can make in your post-production. So let me back up one second. The very first feature length documentary that I filmed, I didn't hold my shots long enough. And the editors and the, the, the producer kept hitting me up and saying, hey, guys gotta hold your shots longer. You gotta hold your shots longer. You gotta hold your shots longer. And I didn't get it. Like. I did eventually, and that's where I learned, but you don't wanna learn on your first feature film. That's kind of um, embarrassing, I guess. But, oh, side note, if you want to see the movie, it is called We the People, The Market Basket Effect. Um, I'll link below to a trailer. It is also on Hulu, so if you have Hulu, you can watch the movie there. Um, I was one of the DPs on the film, and it is really good. Um, it's a good film to watch and no, it's not filled with tiny short little shots like we figured it out But the point is you got to hold your shots and um, I'm gonna show you why in a edit that I made so we can have some examples to work with um, So let's let's do that. Let's get into it We are in Premiere Pro and I have this little edit that I threw together from a project that I'm working on and I'm, I'm just gonna show it to you guys uh, it, It's pretty short. So I'll let it play and just get a sense for this right now. All right, so I was at this brewery, these guys, uh, Tributary, they were brewing their legendary award-winning, like game-changing beer and bottling it. And I went in and filmed them bottling it. It was a lot of fun and I held my shots, okay? And when I say held my shots, I'm talking about filming a situation, a scene, that single shot, filming it for at least 10 seconds, hopefully 15 seconds, more, even better, is 20 seconds. And when you're actually doing that and you have your camera in your hand and you're filming something, you have to watch the timer and you have to pay attention to it in the beginning because 20 seconds is a long, long, long time if you're not used to this. If you're not used to this, you're gonna be like, whoa, that was way, 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 way too much, okay? And you, you, you might not think it's necessary, but when you go to edit and, you, and your, or your editor is going to edit, they're gonna pace out the footage to the situation, to tell the story. And if you leave them with short clips only, you're really gonna restrict their ability to tell a good story, okay? And so to showcase this, and this is a bit of an exaggeration probably, but maybe not for everyone, especially if you're new. I took that same edit and I removed every single shot that wouldn't be usable if I hadn't done it for a longer period of time. And I also cut down every single shot that was usable to one second. So let's watch that real quick. So what that has done is it has removed my ability to tell this story in a certain manner. So 
For example, we have this shot right here where I did a couple jump cuts of the boxes. And if I only film for one second, I'm not getting that. I'm not gonna have these jump cuts of this action. I only film for one second. I didn't film for the length of that clip. You know, I have this really long clip of this bottle coming off the bottling line and the, the beer spurts out and I think it's really cool. I'm actually gonna go in here and I'm gonna pull the ends out on this shot. So I used six seconds of this slow motion shot, okay? But this clip is actually, uh, wow, 50, 51 seconds? And it's, it's just there. I'm holding it right there. And I've got 51 seconds of action to work with here, which is, which is amazing. And that's a lot. I mean, you don't have to go that long. And then you follow it up with these jump cuts again, jump cuts of the filling. Wouldn't be able to do that if we didn't let that run. Same thing with this last shot. This last shot kind of leaves you with this nice feeling of like closure. We're pulling away from the scene. Again, that is a longer shot. But when you're editing, you have a lot more choices to do. So let's look at this clip right here and see how long this one is. You know, this clip of them working. And again, they're working here. And this shot is nice and locked down. Nothing's happening, nothing's moving, nothing's changing. It's it's fluid in 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 terms of like, you can take any piece of this. So maybe, maybe the editor didn't wanna use this part where, you know, Todd is handing the beer to this guy to put the cap on. Maybe he wanted to use this part where he's handing it over to this guy to get rinsed, you know? So this clip right here is 15 seconds long. I think you get the point in terms of the flexibility with the, with the shots that you have. So if I if I kind of go in here and I, I pull out any of these clips, you're gonna get, you know, a lot more room here to work with on all these clips. And they're not like a bunch of different shots. This is the same shot the whole time. So when you're pacing your edit, you're gonna have a lot more flexibility to tell the story of what is happening when you have more footage to work with. If you're shooting for someone else, they're gonna thank you a lot for having done this and they're gonna think you're a pro because you are a pro because you're doing it right, okay? So if you go out there and you shoot everything and you only hold your shot for three seconds or five seconds, whoever's cutting that, whether that's you or someone else, is going to pull their hair out and it's gonna be super frustrating. So, long story short, Hold your shots, it's extremely valuable. It's going to make you look way, 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 way more professional. And it's it's not hard once you practice it, okay? And, and you're probably thinking to yourself still again, okay, it's not that hard, I'm just gonna hold my shots. Go do it, go try it, be intentional, and maybe you'll nail it right away. And, and you should, but you're gonna have to sit there and you're gonna like get bored. You're gonna be like, wow, this is too long. This is taking too long for this shot, holding this shot. But do it, it's worth it gives you so much more flexibility in post-production. Before you guys take off, drop a comment below. I love talking with you guys and engaging with you guys. If any of you have a story about when you didn't hold your shots and it kind of bit you in the booty, I would love to hear about it. You know, we all have that moment. If you have any questions, drop those questions below. Let's get a combo started. If you guys like this video, give that thumbs up. I, I always never know what side it's on. Give it a clickety clackety. I would be super stoked if you did that. If you aren't subscribed, please subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and I will see you guys soon. Peace. Thank you.